Hello everyone, welcome to CSS World. Under this series, we are studying the international and regional organizations. So in this lecture, we are going to study ASEAN. Let's start this lecture now. First of all, an introduction to ASEAN. ASEAN stands for Association of Southeast Asian Nations. It is an intergovernmental regional organization aimed primarily at promoting economic growth and regional stability among its members. It was founded on August 8, 1967. Its headquarters is in Jakarta, Indonesia. Members of ASEAN There are currently 10 members of this organization as displayed in the map. They include Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Brunei, Laos, Myanmar, Cambodia, and Vietnam. Why ASEAN was founded? ASEAN was founded half a century ago in 1967 by the five Southeast Asian nations of Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand. The organization was founded during the polarized atmosphere of the Cold War and the alliance aimed to promote stability in the region. Over time, the group expanded to include its current 10 members. Regional cooperation was further extended with the creation of the ASEAN Plus 3 Forum in 1997, which included China, South Korea, and Japan and then the East Asia Summit which began taking place in 2005 and has expanded to include India, Australia, New Zealand, Russia and the United States. What does it do now? ASEAN aims to promote collaboration and cooperation among member states as well as to advance the interests of the region as a whole, including economic and trade growth. It has negotiated a free trade agreement among member states and with other countries such as China as well as eased travel in the region for citizens of member countries. In 2015, ASEAN established the ASEAN Economic Community that is AEC, which is a major milestone in the organization's regional economic integration agenda. The AEC envisions the bloc as a single market with free flow of goods, services, investments, and skilled labor, and free movement of capital across the region. True to its original mission, the organization strives towards peace and stability in the region. Members have signed a treaty pledging not to develop nuclear weapons, and most have agreed to a counter-terrorism pact, which includes sharing intelligence and easing the extradition process of terror suspects. In a recent move, ASEAN members have started working for quality energy infrastructure. How important is the region economically? If ASEAN were a country, it would be the seventh largest economy in the world with combined GDP of $2.6 trillion in 2014. By 2050, it's projected to rank as the fourth largest economy, home to more than 622 million people. The region has a large population than the European Union or North America. It also has the third largest labor force in the world behind China and India. Relations between ASEAN and China The Southeast Asian region is now China's third largest trading partner, with the annual bilateral trade valued at $443.6 billion. The South China Sea territorial dispute has emerged as a challenge to the unity of the organization. ASEAN has discussed drawing up a code of conduct to be signed with China governing disputes in the South China Sea, but Beijing is reluctant to sign on to a multilateral agreement. What does the future of ASEAN? 
डिस्पाइट देयर डिस्टिंक्ट कल्चर हिस्ट्रीज एंड लैंग्वेजेस द टेन मेंबर स्टेट्स ऑफ एशियन शेयर अ फोकस ऑन जॉब्स एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी हाउस होल्ड परचेजिंग पावर इज राइजिंग प्रोपेलिंग द रीजन इन टू द नेक्स्ट फ्रंटायर ऑफ कंज्यूमर ग्रोथ If the region meets the challenges of providing enormous investment in infrastructure and human capital development to ensure it realizes its full potential then the future of the region would be even brighter so this was all from today's lecture thanks for watching this video like share subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos goodbye